Welcome to the Offshore Club's fun-filled, fact-filled, fast-paced blockbuster podcast, Coffee with Karen Carter, coming to you exclusively from where the sun never sets on the good life at a great price. And now, fill up your favorite coffee mug and join your expert and your guide, Karen Carter Clues. Hello, hello, hello. This is Carib Carter inviting you to join me for a nice cup of coffee on Coffee with Carib Carter. Okay. Let's do this thing, right? Okay. We got today's today's podcast, today's show is fantastic. I'm just going to tell you right up. It's number 61, in case you're keeping count. Uh, we've been together a long time, haven't we? Um, and I've, got, I've just got some great stuff for you. I've got I've got a a thousand dollar list in Caribbean, which is a little which is a little higher than usual. But I think you're going to see why. And I have a feeling some of you out there are going to say, "Well, that's the kind of thing I've been looking for," and grab it up. It's very you know. Here I'm going to give you a hint as to where it is. Remember last week I gave you a hint. I'm going to give you a hint again. This is from okay club. What's it called? culture trip, culture trip. Okay. This is about the place that I'm going to tell you where you can find not just a home, but your own personal resort community. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. Let me read this to you. Okay. Let me read this to you. I'll keep it up so you can follow along if you want, if I can hold it still. Um, the little seafront town of Capergania, Capergania. See that little grob over the end, it means it's pronounced like the first N and onion. Uh, on the Caribbean side of the Colombian region of Chaco is increasingly popular with travelers looking for an off the beaten track surrounded by lush dairy and jungle. It's rainforest, folks. Uh, on one side, stunning blue waters and coral reefs on the other. And we're talking about the Caribbean here, folks. You're on the Caribbean in this place. I'm going to show you. It's truly copper. Capergania is truly a dream destination. You're going to see that for yourself. Honest to God, you are going to see it for yourself in, in just a few minutes. Okay. We also have a great interview, a great interview with someone I know you love because I've had him on before and you've written to me about it. Romulus. Uh, some of you who subscribe to the Offshore Club Gazette, which is free, Offshore Club Gazette, Subscribe for free at offshore.com. It's a newsletter you get every day. And Romulus is in there a couple times a week giving the best financial advice that I've ever seen. And I've worked with a lot of top financial advisors over the years, okay, for a long time. Uh, his stuff, you can, you know, as we say, you can take it to the bank, okay? And it, as I'm going to point out to you later, helps give you the money to make your move offshore and to enjoy your life offshore and live well live fantastic offshore because he's going to help you out with the cash flow. I call him, you'll see the cash flow king. That's what he is with his investment advice. So Romulus is coming up. Then I have my favorite, my favorite, I guess you call him motivational speaker, motivational guide, life guide, life coach, I guess they call themselves uh, um, for the motivation, care of Carter motivation moment. At the end, you're going to absolutely love it. Okay. It's going to give you the Help you get the why in your life. And we'll talk about that more later. Okay, we'll talk. So a lot of great stuff coming up. A lot of great stuff coming up. But first, I want to talk about something that's not so great. Okay, that's not so great. But it's important. It's important. And the fact is, I owe it to you to tell you this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a, a very brief, a very brief Mad Max moment then I know it's important to you because I get your letters, I get your emails, I get your text messages saying, what in the world is going on with this country? Help me get out of here, okay? And that's why a Mad Max report, like I'm going to give you right now very briefly is so important, okay? I want to show you a video, about two minutes, okay? It's two minutes out of a longer video that I'm going to tell you right now is going to stun you, okay? I'm going to tell you it's going to stun you. And the reason it's so vitally important for you in, plan, in, in setting up your plan B escape route, please, I urge you to do that, is because what you see in this video, I'm sorry, but it's the future. There's no use to try and continue it any longer. 
I'm going to show you Portland, Oregon today. Remembering that not that long ago, it was a model city, but the politicians destroyed it, just like they did York, where I'm sitting right now, just like they've now done New York, Baltimore, where I grew up, for God's sake. Charm City is now Harm City. It's unlivable. Detroit. Everywhere. Everywhere, okay? You can't afford to wait until it gets this bad. Let's roll this video, and I'll be right back. Brace yourself. Just brace yourself. It's appalling. It's appalling what the politicians did to that once beautiful city. They did it. You know, I, where I got that video, I read the comments. It was heartbreaking from people who say, I used to live there. It was so lovely. I would take my children downtown. There's nothing there now. There's nothing there. Just like I tell you, you know, uh, uh, regularly, there is no, I, I live in York, Pennsylvania. There is no York, Pennsylvania. There are no stores downtown. Very few rest. There's nothing left. The politicians destroyed it. It's what they do. It's part of, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. It's part of their war on the middle class. Make everybody dependent. Have the elite and have the lower classes. That's what they do. And that's, that's by design. If you don't think that's by design, think of what uh, you, you might say. Well, politicians they hate it as much as we do. We're sure they'd like to clean it up. I don't think so. President Biden was here yesterday. He looked at what you just saw. Let me quote him. Let me quote him. And we're going to read it because I want you to know this is a real quote. Oregon and America have gone from being on the men to being on the move. On the, on the move. What the hell is that? Did that look like a city on the move to you? A city that was on the men and now it's on. Did that look? No, because they don't see what you see. You see degradation. You see sadness. You see suffering. You see misery. They see a chance to have the politicians in control, um, making sure that you're dependent upon them just to survive. In, in, in Seattle, another city that uh, once was great, you, the politicians provide you, if you work for the government, armed escort to walk to your car. Oh, by the way, in Portland, in Portland, now I'm going to get out of Mad Max into the happy talk again. In Portland, the average cost of a home and what you just saw, 
what you just saw. You know how much if you want you want to live there? Anybody that sick? You want to live there? Well, you better have five hundred and forty nine thousand bucks because that's the average cost of a home in that cesspool. OK. I'm going to pause and let that sink in. That's the that's the, you know, for the politicians. Yeah. Shell out your money. Because we only care about the elite anyway, the wealthy elite who are, 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 are cronies. So that's what in Seattle, by the way, which is almost which is almost as bad. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Please, enough of that. But you don't pay that. I feel I feel like now I'm I'm the uh, I'm the uh, corner huckster here. No, you don't pay that. All right. I don't want you to pay that. I don't. I, it's like the copy you used to write for infomercials. I don't want you to pay five hundred forty nine thousand. I don't want you to pay two hundred fifty thousand half that. I don't even want you to pay a quarter of that because and this happens to be the truth, folks. You make your move to Central or South America and you pay a tenth of what you pay here. OK, let me show Let me show you something. Now, remember, in Seattle, you're not going to be getting homes like this. And how serious is that? But by the way, just in case you say to yourself, well, Carter, I'm sure the cities in Central America are just as bad. I don't think so. Here's Tegucigalpa, the capital of Honduras. Does that look as bad as what you just saw? No, folks, I know that's a real picture because I have been there lots. OK, but you probably wouldn't live there. If you did, you'd get a home there probably for. I don't know, thirty, forty thousand dollars, a nice home, a nice home. But you probably want to live somewhere like this. This is this is where, you know, that's Grand Pacifica, folks. Go to the website, check it out. Grand Pacific in Nicaragua. Is that gorgeous? A heck of a lot better than Portland, Oregon, isn't it? Because it's not subject to American politicians. Okay. You get a home like one of these. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gorgeous homes. Here's a close up. This one here, by the way, this home cost, will cost you about around $200,000. Okay. Around two hundred thousand dollars. Let me get a better look at it here. Okay, and it's on the ocean. It's on the ocean. Grand Pacifica is the number one residential resort community in the Caribbean. It's a Mike Cobb community. You all know Mike. He does a show every Friday on uh, Offshore Dot Club, the Offshore Investor. I call him the Offshore Oracle. Um, that home is is around two hundred thousand. Okay. You would pay for a like home in a like location because it's huge. You're a multi, multi bedroomer uh, on the beach, on the ocean. You'd pay probably 10 times as much in the U.S. easily if you could find it, if you could find it for even that. And don't forget, it comes with all the amenities because you're in an incredible community. You're going to play golf in uh, in Portland. Going to, you know, relax like that. There's horseback riding, everything you could want right there the good life at a great price. That's your alternative because you're a member of the offshore club. So you know about these things. Remember, I always tell you about the 10% solution. Whatever you would pay up here for a home, whether it's a cozy cottage or a multi-room mansion, mansion, ba -da -da. okay, you're going to pay a tenth of the price in Central or South America, and you're going to enjoy life. You're not going to have the horror of what the politicians have done to almost every city in America. Murder rate in the 12 top cities in America set record records last year. You're not going to have that there. You're not going to have it in Tegucigalpa where I just showed you. Okay. It is a better life. It is freedom. Picture yourself there enjoying life rather than to walk your way around the, the, the trash and the disgust that, that I just showed you down there. We're not living like that. You don't have to live like that you're an offshore club member, okay? And just to show you how good the deals are, I am going to move now into $1,000 listing Caribbean. How is that for a segue? I told you you're going to love this, and you are, and you are. I promise you you're going to love it. Let me find, here we go, here we go. Okay, remember at the outset, I, I read to you where we're going, right? In this, uh, what's it called? Capragania on the Caribbean, on the Caribbean, okay, in Colombia. Let me get these papers out of the way and move to the other papers. Folks, I do a lot of research for you on that, so you don't have to. So all you have to do is make your move. <laughs> it's a lot simpler. Here we go. 
here we go. Let's look. We like to look at our big map first. Columbia. Let me see if I can point it. There we go. Right there. There's Colombia, Mexico up above it, all the other little Central American countries. Colombia is really your first country as you go south in in uh, in South America, to South America. OK, so, I, you know, I like to because of my infomercial days, start out with the long shot, medium shot, close up. So there you are. There is Colombia. But you're going to the little area in Colombia, Catagonia. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Picture yourself there. That's your home. That's your home. You sit and say, yeah, uh -huh, this is where I live. Take a picture, send it back to all your friends. If I were you, I'd do it every day just to make them jealous. Oh, yeah, this is where I live. Oh, oh, that that's the Caribbean. That's the Caribbean. Come on down. Take a, take a swim. Let's get a little closer now. You're going to go to here. As a matter of fact, you're going to own here. This is, this is your $1,000 listing Caribbean today, okay? You, it's for sale. You can own it for a price which is unbelievably low. Again, it's a little more than our usual $1,000 listing Caribbean. It's worth every penny of it. And actually, it can have an incredible cash flow. Where did we find it? Once again, once again, we found it on, on, let me cross something out here, on vivion.com, okay? On vivion.com. Of course, not the price because I want to surprise you with it. Okay, there's the Vivion listing. Write down the number. See the number there? Okay, this is Beach Hotel for Sale in Capergania, Colombia. Beach Hotel, folks. This is not just a home, this is 2.7 acres with home, incredible home for you. I'm going to show you in a second. Plus, Beautiful bungalows for your guests you have in, if you want to go in that direction. Maybe you're just going to say, I don't want to rent out. I just want to bring my friends in. <laughs> well, you, your friends are going to love this because the little home bungalows you're going to have for them are fantastic. Unique hotel situated directly on the beach in the Caribbean Sea. That even sounds good, doesn't it? Plenty of nature to enjoy. It's a beautiful coral reef in front of the hotel. Uh, good, great conditions for scuba diving and snorkeling, which reminds me, what the heck am I thinking of? Gary, before I even finish reading here, show them the, the video. I got a video for you folks. I almost ran right by it. Show, show them the video. Then we'll come back because it reminded me because you're going to see somebody snorkel diving. All right, let's roll it. There we go. <laughs> and some of you are probably saying right now, oh, thank God, Carter, that you got by that senior moment and remembered what you were supposed to show us, because that's a great video, isn't it? And, and it really shows you everything I'm saying here. So now let's get back to the actual property itself that you'll find at Vivion. There's the number. There's the number. OK, what is it? Uh, 222. That's easy to remember. 366. 222. 366. Um, Okay, great conditions in front of your property, but right is offshore of your property because you have your beach is almost 400 feet of beach that you own, that you own. This is your beach on the Caribbean, okay? Oh my God, I love this place. I, I swear to God, if I had the money, I'd buy it for myself right now and before any of you even got it. But here we go. Um, small village. Uh, nearby, that's Capergania, which we showed you, um, which is a famous, which is a great tourist spot. 
Um, no cars or roads in the whole area. That's a lovely, that's actually beautiful. And the transport is done by horses and boat. I, I love it. Um, it's in the, the whole area of Cart, Cap Pergana is a, is a one of the top honeymoon destination of all of Colombia. Um, setting as a haven of peace for all your senses. Okay, we're talking about a total of nine buildings. Let me get down to the nitty gritty. Nine buildings, nine buildings, five bungalows. So I'm going to show them to you in a second. Um, and one bungalow with four rooms, a big bungalow. I'll show you that one too. Plus, you have your own home. Where do you see that? Your home is absolutely stunning. You know, it is, it's where you sit like a feudal lord and look over your whole kingdom there, your whole domain. Okay. Um, hotels connected with top electricity, three septic tank systems. Everything's there. Everything's there. Um, built in 19, uh, 2007 to eight. So let's take a look. Okay. Here's your beach. Here's your beach. You will own that beach. You'll own that. That's your bench. Okay. That's your bench. Here's your home. Here's your home. It says manager's home. That's your home. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and give you the price right now because you're not going to believe it. The whole price of this whole place is $400,000. This would be at least $4 million. Remember my 10 my 10% solution, the 10 times factor, um, that you're paying a 10, 10% for this, what you would pay in the U.S., anywhere in the U.S. So $400,000, and you would pay four, five, maybe six million or more in the U.S. There's your home. Remember, look, it's the top of the hill overlooking everything else. Here's your terrace. You want to walk, sit down on your terrace, walk your terrace, look at the beach, look at your private domain there. Oh, by the way, when you look out there, you probably like to take a look at your restaurant right there on the water. Everything there, all the kitchen, everything done. Beautiful seating, everything. Yeah, done. Here's one of the two-person bungalows. Remember we said there are four of these. Look at that. Beautiful little two-person bungalow. Okay. Plenty of space. Here's a larger bungalow. Here's one with four rooms. Look at that. Okay. Oh, there are five bungalows here. Here's another. Here's the front porch of the bungalow with the four rooms. Okay. These are well built. These are beautiful places. And the inside. Okay. The inside. Very, very well done. Beautifully built. Well done. All yours for four hundred thousand dollars. Let me get. Let me read this. How much? It, it is two and a half acres on the beach. Gorgeous homes. You know, your home is just, it's like, almost like, it's like an estate home. Look at, look at that. Multi-level porches there. <laughs> oh. And you have all the other homes that you can rent out for cash flow. We always love cash flow. Remember, you're in a honeymoon region, so people are already looking there. A little social media advertising, you're going to bring the people in and have cash flow. Or you may be one of those people, I just want to have all my friends in, entertain them, and they all eat at my restaurant. <laughs> Done. That's good living. That's good living, and it's all yours right there. Check it out. And remember, your offshore club does not make a penny off this. You negotiate it with the seller, okay? And then you dream big and live large. That's it. That is it. Done. Done. <laughs> All right. I just love that one. Again, it's a little more than we usually talk about. I usually try and keep them, you know, 100,000 or under. Um, maybe sometimes up to 150. But this one is just too good to pass up. I did not want you to miss it. Okay. Picture yourself there. Your beach. Your mansion. Your bungalows. Your restaurant. Your everything. For a grand total of four hundred thousand, you pay four million in the U.S. Get it done. Get it done. I always say, "Where's my cup? Where's my cup? Let's do this thing." So you might be saying, "Well, Carter, that's great, but four hundred thousand? I don't have that handy." Well, you probably have enough for ten percent down, or maybe twenty percent down. Then payments. So you say, "Well, where am I going to get the payments?" By the way, the property tax is probably going to be like uh, pocket change. 
It's not like the U.S., where property tax is outrageous now and going up and because the politicians love to pull that money out of your pocket. And the property tax down there probably is a couple hundred a year. So, but you might still say, but, but the payments, you know, let me make sure I can get, here's how, now we're going to talk to the guy who can help you get the payments. Now we're going to talk to Romulus, the resident financial guru at your offshore club. Okay. Uh, the guy who averages 25% per year return on the investments he recommends, sell or buy, covers the spectrum, Romulus. So he's going to talk to us today about where the market is and where it's going. So let's do this. Let's, let's do it. So that being said, let's welcome Romulus to tell us what the heck is going on and uh, where it's heading and what we can do about it. Romulus, welcome to Coffee with Carob Carter, buddy. It's good to see you. And I love I absolutely love that. Uh, I guess it would be called a helmet. Well, yeah, it's it's the traditional headgear of the Roman centurion. Being that I am General Romulus of my legion, I've got to protect my noggin as well as uh, all my, my <laughs> legionnaires and my centurions. And so great to be back. It's been a couple of shows. Yeah. We started coming together, Carter, if you remember, back in November, December. And there was a, a consistent message. Before we get into that, though, I can tell you that we're thrilled to, to have the opportunity to speak to everybody again. And it's um, it's just the same thing that we've been talking about for the last several months. Get yourself out, get yourself safe. Just because the markets are down doesn't mean they can't go a lot farther. So we'll get into that in a moment. Yeah, well, what you know, let me remind folks, folks, remember, Romulus is at offshore.club. He's in the Offshore Club Gazette. Subscribe to the free Gazette so you can get this gentleman's analysis, market analysis. It is, I've worked with a lot of investment advisors, financial analysts. This guy's the best I've seen. So Romulus, thank you for what you're doing. And I know a lot of our people love it because I hear from them. Well, great. I'm glad that uh, they're checking in and hopefully they've been listening because, you know, it's been time to get protected, time to get safe. Yeah. I've got my helmet on because it's still time to keep yourself safe and protected. And the question of the hour, what's been going on and what might be happening next? So let's have a little conversation about that. In the last several months, markets have peaked. And I say peaked. Let's go and look at what happened in the last several years. This is not simply a peak of temporary or short-term type of situation. Stocks have been running, most part, consistently and with some strength on or off, dating back to uh, March of 2009, right after the financial crisis. Right. Then there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on. Markets pick up. And again, there have been some temporary setbacks, even the COVID crash, but that wasn't a bear market. You know, one advantage of talking with you, Carter, you've got some experience through life, as do I. And you remember what it was like in the dot-com crash. You yes. lived through the financial crisis and really what all that entailed and what it meant. All of our friends and neighbors, you know, people that we cared about, businesses all around us going uh, bankrupt and disappearing. It's not just what we have seen over the last three and a half months is not simply a garden variety setback that is going to be healed and dealt with with the, the snap of the Federal Reserve's magic fingers or a button from somebody inside of the White House and then everything's fine. This yeah. has much more serious implications. But we've been saying this and talking about this all the way back for the last four and a half, five months. And That's nothing right. new to any of your people that have been paying attention to us so much lately. So markets run, stocks run from 2009 until the beginning of this year. Now things have changed, now things are different. And did you know, Carter, let's just look at mortgage rates because that's something that a lot of just normal people yeah. like you and I, they look at, they pay attention to. Mortgage rates from December until now, so we're talking four months, have gone up over 70%. How, how much, how much up? 70% in four wow. months. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, you think you want to buy a house in Miami where prices have gone up 60% in the last two years? You want to buy a house in San Diego or Phoenix where they've gone up 40 and 50% and you don't think there's any downside to something like that? Come on. It's and, time to get real here. You know, I have to say parenthetically, it's going to get even worse for the housing market if uh, Biden is able to push through his absurd, his absurd um, 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Removing the 1031. Yeah, well, I mean, there's if he a, removes uh, 1031. Uh, the hell's going to invest in housing? Yeah, and they're they're not going to stop there. It's amazing that Warren, meaning Elizabeth, hasn't already imposed her uh, her Marxian ideologies in terms of the, the increase in taxes. But here, look, here's a simple parameter when it comes to markets either going up or going down over the longer term. I'm not saying day to day, but longer term, lower taxes, lower regulations, lower interest rates are good for markets. Yeah. Higher interest rates, higher taxes, and higher regulations are not good for markets. Carter, which environment are we in? Number one, or number two today? We are we are definitely a number two and getting worse, Romulus. <laughs> yeah, so is it a yeah. mystery as to why stock prices have been pulling back? Is it a mystery why all the commodities that we are, need to consume to stay alive are going up so much? Is it a mystery why the quality of your life is not the same as what it was a few years ago, 20 years ago? You mm -hmm. name it, you pick it. So what I've said for the last two decades, Carter, is that the American system, we reached our Hadrian's Wall in the year 2000. And what do yes. I mean by Hadrian's Wall? Hadrian's Wall, Emperor Hadrian, was completed in 147 AD. And when that wall was completed, spanning coast to coast in northern England, that was the largest that the Roman Empire had ever become. It would never exceed that size. It would never exceed that wealth. It would never exceed that influence on a global stage. Over the next 350 years, it was just a very slow decline from that point. America reached its Hadrian's Wall in the year 2000. Excellent, ana excellent analogy. Excellent analogy, Romulus. Very so going well back, said. Carter, if um, if I may, you and I have been—we've known each other for some time. We've been talking, and uh, I've been contributing writing ideas to your uh, to the newsletter, the offshore newsletter. But I've been doing this for a long time, over 27 years altogether. And that's why I got my helmet on right now, because I know better. But yep. I've been trading a particular system. It's called ACTA. We've talked about that a little bit. By the way, ACTA means beach in Latin. I've been trading that since 2006. And as you can see on the screen here in a minute, there is a track record going back all the way over 16 years for this particular model that I trade all the time. All right, let's, let's, bring that, let's bring that up while you're describing it. Let's bring that up while you're describing yeah. it. Go ahead. So it, it's had some great years over the last 16 uh, plus years. Some of them better than others. Obviously, that's how trading and uh, operations works. Look at 2008. You might think, well, Romulus, that wasn't one of your best years. As a matter of fact, it was closer to the bottom of, uh, of the, the pile. I mean, I made almost 16% that year, but that was the best year I've ever had. Why? 2008 was the second worst year in U.S. stock market history. And this portfolio, ACTA, still managed to post a good, solid double-digit return. Remarkable. That's what we're talking about. It's consistent, Remarkable. 85 90% win rate. It's liquid. It's low risk. And it knows how to make money in many different types of market conditions, you know, including what we're seeing lately. So love to have the opportunity to share some of this with the people that you're talking to that want to get their financials straight and right so they can get down to the beach. Well, you, you shared very well in, in your articles in the Offshore Club Gazette. Remember, folks, it's free. Just go to offshore.club and sign up for the Gazette in order to get Romulus's information. But also, and I want to get back to your, your track record in a minute, but also every Thursday, they can join you for a special seminar, right? Yeah, Thursday night. We have a lot of fun. We call it Thursday Night Live. Catchy little title. But from 4 p.m. to 5 Eastern time, that's right. If you check in with me directly or check in with Carter, let him know, because uh, he and I communicate frequently, let him know that you'd like to join Club Romulus Centurions on Thursday Night Live. We'd love to have you. We'll extend a, a special one-time invitation to anyone that would like to uh, come in with us. And we talk about the markets. We talk about the stocks, the S&P 500. We talk about interest rates and the foolish activities that are going on inside the Federal Reserve with Jerome Powell. Hey, Carter, by the way, how great is it that Powell told us last fall that inflation was transitory? Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> Thank God for well, that. You, I mean, without him, where would we be? Romulus, remember, first, <laughs> he and Biden and Yellen told us there was no inflation at all. Oh, yeah, then right. when it just became yes. uh, it, it, totally obvious we were getting screwed, then they said, oh, oh well, uh, well, but it's just 
transitory. Yeah, transitory, transitory. No inflation, transitory inflation. And what does Yellen say just three hours ago? Oh, learn to live with it. Thanks. Hmm. Thanks, Treasury Secretary. And Lagarde over in Europe, typical Eurocrats sitting on their hands, just waiting for America to solve their problems for them and save their day. By the way, we talk about travel here as well, right? Yeah. We're talking about traveling permanently to get at least a, a, a good location in these Central American countries where the real estate crisis that is hitting, right, just starting to hit right now in the Western countries and the modern uh, economies will not really impact people down there. Well, first of all, because the real estate market didn't go up 300% in the last couple of years and then have room to crash. The yeah. people, it's just a steadier kind of environment. It's a steadier, more consistent kind of environment. That's number one. Number two, currencies, because of what's going on with interest rates, because of what's happening with the inflation situation around the country and around the world right now, currencies are doing something that hasn't happened in quite some time. That means that Americans with our dollar, because Carter, I'm sure you know this, but perhaps many of the viewers and listeners are not aware of this, but most of the Central American countries, they peg their currencies to the US dollar. Yeah. El Salvador, for example, they have their own currency, but they might as well not have it because it's pegged directly to the dollar. The, the Costa Rican, uh, the Panamanian currency, these currencies are either pegged or they're floated with the dollar. Right. Now, in this case, it's a positive because the dollar is now becoming much more valuable against most of the other uh, economies and currencies around the world. What does this mean? It means that we can buy things from those countries for much less money. We can travel to these countries. For example, if you want to buy a car right now, buy a Toyota, buy a Honda. If you want to take a vacation in some exotic foreign location, go to Japan. You'll be able to buy the whole country for 10 bucks. The <laughs> currency has crashed. It has absolutely crashed in the last yep. couple of months. Yep. The euro, the euro is on its way to three cents if it keeps going at this rate. So take advantage of these displacements because they don't last forever. Nothing goes in the same direction forever. Nothing does. But it's happening right now. Okay. Happening right now. And again, if you're looking at countries that are not pegged to the dollar, and some of the Caribbean and South American countries are not, you now have an opportunity to buy real estate down in those places for less than you would six months ago for one reason, one reason only, your dollar is now worth a lot more than their currency was a bit ago. So you get a lot more for it if you go down. Yep. Yeah, right, right now it's, this is important. It's the, per it's the perfect timing. You know, the, the I always talk about the 10% solution. Any property you buy in Central or South America, gorgeous beachfront, mansions, cozy cottages, it's going to be 10% what you pay here for a comparable property. So the timing is perfect, but I don't think it's going to last. I think the dollar, yeah. you know. Oh, it doesn't last no, because it's, it's debt driven and, and riddled. And by the way, let me uh, clarify a moment as a listener. When Carter just said, I hope that sinks in. He doesn't mean that it's 10% less. He means it's 90% less. Exactly. <laughs> he means yep. it's 90% less than what you would pay in San Diego, Miami, or some of the other uh, outlandishly yeah. priced locations yeah. in the yeah. American country. Absolutely. Well said. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad you clarified that because that's, it, it is later in the, in the, it, I, you know, every week I show people properties and you look at it and you say, I can't believe it. That that's a 10th of what I'd pay if I were in the U S so where is the, I know the Dow, I think fell 800 points today, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 944 point drop on the Dow, which by the way, this, this is kind of cool. It, it's the markets are closed right now. They closed about 25 minutes ago or so um, on Eastern time as we're talking about this, but there's a cool trade that I discovered. I, I originally said that I invented it and I guess I did, but it was more of a discovery. So as of today's close, the Dow Jones industrial average is now down. Um, let me see if I can get this. There it is. See that right there? Four <laughs> weeks in a row, everybody. Four weeks in a row. Yeah. And dating back to 1981, so we're talking 41 years of, uh, of trading data, it has never fallen more than six weeks in a row. The, uh, most of the time it falls four and then has a bit of a rebound the next week. Not a big one. I'm not talking 10 or 20%, but you don't need that to make some money. Little opportunities like this pop up in the markets, not every day, but on a consistent basis. 
And those who are with Club Romulus, if you're in our Centurion Legion, you are alerted to these in a timely fashion to take yep. advantage of them. The small things help add up to the big things. Now, and let me let me make clear so make sure people understand. In your analysis, you you advise people on both when to sell and when to buy, right? Oh, well, we're not going to leave them hanging. Absolutely. I send yeah. out, as a matter of fact, this is how easy it is. This is how simple it is. You get a yeah. text to your phone and it says, I am buying, meaning me. And I give the symbol, I give the percent of my portfolio. Then two days later or two weeks later or two months later, you get a text saying I'm selling. Excellent. That's it. It goes right to your phone. It cannot be any easier. And it doesn't matter if you're located in the United States, if you're located anywhere in Central America, Caribbean, South America. If you're down in those countries, we have a text that we sent through WhatsApp. You get it's the easiest system in the world to make consistent money. It's liquid, meaning you can get out of it. It's not locked up like real estate or other uh, investments. It's liquid and it makes consistent returns regardless of market direction, up or down. We're finding ways to make money with this system. Which is just vital, vital to our people, because the, one of the reasons we love having you as, as the offshore, offshore club financial guru is I like for our people to be able to make the move south of the border and live off their investments. Yeah, well, we do. don't want them working in the, uh, in the fields when they get there, Kara. I mean, that doesn't well, yeah. <laughs> Which they can do. Now, what is your, over the past uh, 25 years, what has been your average annual return on, on the recommendations? And ACTA goes back to 2006. It's just shy of 25% per year it's, in, that, uh, in that portfolio. And that's phenomenal. Folks, the, 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 best, the best mutual funds claim to be at 10%. They rarely ever are. But that's what they claim. The, the Harvard Endowment is usually 4 to 5%. So yeah. Romulus at 25% is just, it's stunning. Yeah, it's, um, it's a good record. I'm, I'm happy to be able to offer that. It helps me. It's just the consistency of it is also um, calming and it drives the anxiety away. It gives us an opportunity to do whatever we want in life. Now, I know a lot of people before they come into Club Romulus, before they become one of our centurions, they say they tell me the same thing. They have this anxiety in, uh, in them about trading and putting money in the markets. And then once they come in, all that leaves and they have a sense of confidence. That's really what this is about. It brings a level of confidence to their trading and their investing and the moves that they want to make around the world. No matter what the markets do, no matter what the politicians are up to, and they're usually scheming and scamming, no matter what happens on the international stage, whether it's war or conflict, or any, we have droughts right now. We have major life-changing right. droughts in the Western parts of the United States. There is a, a, a historical drought going on in Eastern Africa. Once again, uh, the Somalis and countries in that area, Ethiopians are stricken, unfortunately, with a, a food shortage because of their droughts. These things are, are a part of our daily lives and they affect the markets. But I have the confidence to know that no matter what happens, I can grow my money and I can continue to provide for my family, which, uh, you know, that's the main responsibility of, uh, of what I'm doing here. It's fantastic. Romulus, you know, we're, we're out of time here, but I want to make it clear. Oh. You are the cash flow king, folks. He's the cash flow king. So you can make your move to Central or South America knowing that you're going to be able to live, not just come to live well on your investment. So Romulus, thank you. That's an incredible service to perform. Oh, thank you so much for another opportunity to join everybody. Please check out the newsletter or contact me directly, Romulus at uh, backpacktrader.com. You've got my phone number down there as well. Everybody's welcome to uh, call, text, whatever works for you. I would love the opportunity to bring ACTA to you, show you how we're doing, what we, what it is we do, bring that confidence to you every single day so that you can just stride the world and do whatever you want and uh, do it at a great price. It's great. Thank you, sir. It's mm -hmm. great to see you again. I love that helmet. I'm envious. Safety first. <laughs> All right. We'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye, everybody. Fantastic, folks. Fantastic. Backpacktrader.com. Backpacktrader.com. Go there. Sign up for Romulus's services, folks. It is, as I say, he's the best I've seen. He's the best I've seen. And then the, the properties like the one I just showed you, you've got the cash to do it. You've got the cash flow.
Okay. You've got the cash flow to buy anywhere you want in Central America. Or remember, on the cash he's getting you, you can live for about a quarter of what you would live here. So you can live like royalty. So that's what to do. That's what to do. And, and to help encourage you to do it, we're going to finish up as we usually do with our Carib Carter motivation moment. I think this is very important. It's very important because, you know, all of us, even sometimes we feel like, yeah, you know, I'd like to do this. It, it was, I think it was Agrippa in the Bible who said the St. Paul, I'm almost persuaded, almost persuaded. I remember when I was a kid, my father's congregation used to sing that song, almost persuaded. And sometimes we are, but we're not fully persuaded because of the fear of the unknown. So I'm going to show you a video now. Someone you know, as soon as you see him, you know, say, I, I not only know him, I like him. And I hope you watch him regularly and pay attention to what he says, because he can help you overcome the fear of the unknown, as he does in this short video we're going to look at, and the almost persuaded, the fully persuaded. So let's take a look at Dean Graciosi now. What stands between us and where we want to go? is never what we think it is. It's not the economy, it's not the president, it's not that somebody already dominated the health food industry or dominated Facebook advertising or dominated TV advertising or there's no room left. It's never that. It's always the story we tell ourselves on why we can't achieve that. And and if, if I wanted to boil it down, I would just say, what is your biggest why? What's your biggest goal that you would love? If it was a year from now and we were sitting here, you're watching this and it was a year later, and it was the best year of your life, what would be the biggest thing that would have changed in your life? It, from money, income, family, love, intimacy, being a better dad, mom, whatever. Whatever that is, if you say to yourself, I would love that goal. Like I, I'd love to have my company doing a million dollars a year in net profit so I could have freedom for my family. Then just say, but. And whatever that but is, is usually your story. It's like, I would love my company to be doing a million dollars yet, but I live in a smaller town and there's just not enough people to do it. Or the internet's so saturated, there's no room to advertise on Facebook anymore because everybody and their brother's on. Whatever that story is, is usually your story and that's the results you get. And that story is the, the thing, the thing standing between you and your next level. And, and I know people are watching right now going, oh Dean, that's nice, you guys got money now, so it's easy. I don't have any money. I don't have a partner. I don't have any business experience. Uh, you know, this economy's not right for what we do. You know that old saying where there's a will, there's a way. If that, if your story is that, that's what you'll continue to get. So what I would say is, if I was gonna boil it down, is find what that story is. Now to you, you might be saying, Dean, you're saying it's a belief, it's reality. And maybe it's phase three, but reality is nothing more than our perception of a situation, right? We all know that. You've read that about, you've watched it on Tom's show, everybody has said it, but maybe it's the first time you actually think about it, that that reality you think is holding you back is really just the story. So there's two things I say, is go find somebody else with that same story. Like go look at your, your, your evolution, where you were on your couch, no money, right? Go look at Richard Branson's story, look at Tony Robbins' story, look at you know, John Paul DiGiorgio or all the amazing books, but read all those stories and realize that first of all, that story you have is probably a lie. So if you can find proof, like leverage, that it's a lie, that's one thing, but then the, the one that would get me is I love aspiration. I love to look and say, look what you did, man. I, I, I wanna get there. If he did it, I can do it. But sometimes you need the pain as well. So what I like to do is I like to think, take that story and think it's five years from now and think it's 10 years from now and you're still in the same exact spot. You're still worried. You still have envy. You still want more. You desire more. You wanna take care of your family. You wanna provide more. And think that that story, those two sentences, is the thing holding you back. Do you really want to give that story that much power? I'll change the damn story. I'll fist fight with that story. And I'll look at the pain I'll have if I keep that story. So I love the aspirational part of this story will stop me from my new life. But I also like, are you going to let that story screw you around for the next 5, 10, 15 years? I mean, man, we're, we're going to be 90 laying in a, in, a, in a bed looking up like before we know it. And you want to think, I squeezed all I could out of life or did I let just beliefs that other people gave me hold me back the guy's just incredible the guy's incredible and i'm so glad and i'm going to finish with this i'm so glad he he said you know you have to have your why your why is what's all important once you get the why you have the motivation i call i, I always think of why as an acronym okay what hypes you w-h-y what hypes you what gets you excited what makes you want to step up and grab the world by, by, the, by the horns and say, 
I'm coming, I'm taking it on. You got to have the why, the why, what hypes you, what makes you want to live better? What makes you want to just, you know, sail to the top. Okay. That that's the, once you get that, you're going to make your move because your why is because I do want to have what Carol Carter always talks about the good life at a great price in the sun, sand and surf. I want to see myself on those beaches. I want to feel myself enjoying the freedom that now comes with living in Central and South America. You don't have it here anymore where all the rules and regulations and taxes and, you know, fines and licenses are perhaps enough. No, your why is that you can live free, Just live free. And it's what Dean just said. It's what I, I'm saying to you now. I say to you every week, go ahead and make your move. Get your plan B escape route in the place and, and then execute it, okay? As I always tell you every week, let's do this thing.